Welcome back to the channel, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. Today I would like to introduce you to Blue Collar 6 and Blue Collar 7. Blue Collar 6 is our track grade high temp wheel coating. And Blue Collar 7, that's the one we're going to concentrate on today, is our 5 year plus coating. It's the more concentrated version, uh, a more viscous, high solids coating that will get you to that 5 year mark. Today, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to use, even though it is a more concentrated coating. So BC1 is our three to five year coating. Uh, when it comes to coatings, guys, I just want to be transparent with this. One year coatings, absolutely. One to three year coatings, sure. Three to five year coatings, yeah, select coatings. Five year coatings, it would have to be a fantastic coating. There are no coatings on the market that will last beyond five years on its own without either reapplying it or topping it with something really, really substantial. I just want you guys to, to know that now that I've been on this side of the curtain, uh, I know that and I can pass that on to you. This coating here will be the most concentrated coating that I will be able to offer to you and I'm happy to. We have bumped up the hydrophobics we have also bumped up the slickness and gloss for this coating. All you need is the coating itself and an applicator of your choice. It could be microfiber, it could be uh, foam, it could be micro suede. You could put it on crisscross patterns, circular motions. It doesn't matter as long as you are ensuring that each panel is completely covered and covered correctly. That's why I recommend, if you do not have a ton of experience with coatings, do the crisscross method. First up and down, then left and right without uh, pulling the block away from the surface leading to high spots. And have yourself two microfiber towels nearby. The first one to mop up most of the transfer solution. The coating has already bonded. Don't worry about wiping off the coating. Grab the second microfiber then and buff to perfection. The one thing you'll notice immediately is the slickness, wiping off the transfer solution with just the coating there remaining. And that will only increase as the coating cures. This will take a little bit longer than BC1 to cure because of course it's more concentrated, it's common sense. So uh, we'll continue on and I also have a test panel because I know this silver is hard for you to see. Uh, I just wanted to cover application and, and the ease of use and how to apply it. We'll get to the test panel so you can see it a little bit better. And here you go, besides being more durable, uh, slicker, have uh, more hydrophobic properties, it helps these colors, the silvers, the whites, the champagne colors, the colors that are really hard to make pop, it makes them stand out and get your attention. to the test panel and this panel is darker so it's easier for you to see but applying this coating you want to do the proper prep to get the most out of it to reach that five years and go beyond because it is a five year plus coating depending on how it's prepped and how it is maintained very very important so wash full decine iron remover clay polish even if it's a just a cleaner polish or one of those primer polishes which keep your eyes open for on the site. There may be one coming from the blue collar line, but I also recommend one of those. So I moved to the other side of the hood. We haven't done any testing there, and you can see there's no protection whatsoever. It's not even sheeting. Um, and yes, as mentioned before, there will be much more coming to the line. I will end up with a complete line eventually, but I'm starting with all of the protectants first, and then we will get to the prep products, products that can get you from the start to uh, application of a protectant and in between. So stay tuned. It may take a while. I'm releasing a few at a time so I can keep con uh, 
constant keep a constant eye on uh, how they're being used and if they're being used properly and answering questions on them so I don't want to get too far ahead of myself but there is a lot planned for the blue collar line. By the way, can you coat the surface after just a wash and a panel prep? You absolutely can. But I highly recommend to get the most out of any protectant. And it doesn't matter if it's mine or from another brand. Full decon after the wash. Iron remover clay and then do some sort of paint correction or polishing. That will help uh, remove any traffic form or film or bonded contaminants and um, maybe other uh, contaminants that can get in between the coating and the surface of your vehicle and you will get the most out of it. Don't forget to panel prep. When you're using a panel prep, lay it on thick. Give it a chance to break down either polishing oils or uh, maybe old protectants, leftover carnauba, anything that's on the surface so you can remove it and get that uh, a nice, clean, naked, clear coat. And as concentrated as it is, uh, besides cars, trucks, motorcycles, would make an excellent coating for boats in the marine industry, off-road and RVs. The prep is done. As you can see, no protection on that panel. Let me mark off a test area with some masking tape and we'll get started. Once again, we have the coating itself, two microfibers, and an applicator, and that's all you need. Prime that dry applicator at first, and then when you load up the applicator from then on out, it just takes one line or one strip down the middle of the applicator and apply it from there. I'm not sure exactly what's going to come through on the camera, but let the coating sit on top of the surface for about 60 seconds or so, 
and you'll see it start to give you that uh, typical rainbow uh, color and that'll tell you it's time to wipe it off if it is a, an extremely warm day out in uh, uh, sunlight you're gonna have to shorten that window a bit And as concentrated as it is, I still made it easy to wipe off. Just be a little bit more vigilant looking for high spots. When you're finished with your vehicle, pull it out. It's especially going to be visible on an overcast day. Look for the high spots, and if they're fresh, use some of the coating. Wipe it on top of the high spot. It will reactivate it so you can wipe it free. If it's been there a little bit longer uh, and you caught it late, Car Pro Essence or Essence Plus will level it off for you. Cure time is going to take a little bit longer than BC1 because, again, it's more concentrated. So instead of the four hours, your minimum window will be 12 hours, and then you can top it and go on with your day. You will notice a strong jetting effect, meaning the area it's applied to makes the surface look darker and richer with incredible gloss and slickness. Here is a quick visual that will give you an idea of the slickness. Gloss off the charts for a coating that is entering the curing process, and that will only increase into the triple digits as the curing process goes along. As you can see, I have to hold the meter or it will just fly off the panel. Super hydrophobic for those that have asked for a slicker, more hydrophobic coating, and it's also easy to dry with forced air. We absolutely love it here at the shop. We are super excited for you guys to get your hands on it, play with it, and give us some feedback and enjoy it yourself. Stay tuned for the wheel coating. That's another one we have been looking for, um, getting it out to you. We've had it here for some time at the shop. It's now going to be available for all of you as well.